Hey guys, okay, so sorry I didn't vlog at all yesterday in terms of talking to the camera. I was in a foul mood after my qualies and the qualies were super early. <clears throat> so if you follow me on Instagram, all my thoughts are there, so I'm not really gonna go into it too much. Here it was in a good round, but on the flip side, this is the World Championships, and to get here is an absolute win like it was my goal since I started climbing to qualify for the World Cups and the World Championships and you know only the best of every country comes here and when you're putting all these amazing climbers together the boulders have to be super hard and they're just very different to what I climb at home um, different holds different style of setting so we don't set like World Cup boulders you know so it's really hard to learn that dynamic parkour-esque funky style and very complex boulders when you just don't train it so I didn't really expect you know much I just wanted to climb like I wanted to feel like I gave every boulder my best go and I'm not sure that I did because the first one I fell off at the end um, and I got a little bit frustrated about that and then the other ones confused me so much that I just think I forgot to try hard, to pick a method and try hard, because that's what you have to do. If you're not 100% sure what to do, pick one method or pick two methods which you think could work and try really hard. Don't half ass and go, mm, I'm not sure if that's right, but I'm gonna try it anyway, but I'm not gonna try that hard. So I just think I forgot to try hard. And then my fingers started bleeding as usual. Uh, red raw. And then I came home and sulked a little bit, but then uh, was brought back to life by several nice athletes who I am not going to talk about. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, let's roll my footage now and I will voice over this and just tell you some thoughts. Um, the It was live stream, so you might have already seen this, I'm not sure how much I was on the live stream, but yeah let's roll it so you can just get a brief overview i'm not playing all of my attempts just a couple of the attempts so you guys can see what the boulders were like here we go we've got boulder one dual texture holds uh so we're just like wooden slippery glass on the outside and some texture in the on the other side uh the start position was awkward all my attempts pretty much looked like this i was super close but i was second guessing that what i was doing was right so i don't think i really gave it a hundred percent um you just feel really insecure out there on your feet so i didn't want to go with my hand because i didn't feel my feet were very good so I went with the foot to the bonus and then I just tried to lever myself on but I didn't have the right hip position, my hips peel out and I barn door off and then all my attempts were kind of like that. Bold number two, oh, I had no idea what to do, it seemed like it was impossible to do what I do here first, to go up and just hop. Basically, there was this tiny, tiny crimp but it's steep and then there was a thumb catch and I was like, there's no, and the holds that you're on are really bad. So I was like, there's no way it's possible to hold that with one hand. So I try to go with two hands. And yeah, I'm just not really sure. I'm thinking at this stage I'm missing something. So I wasn't really trying. So I went right, left. Yeah, I just never really picked a method and just tried really hard, which is what you kind of need to do. It turns out the beta was you just catch your heel at the same time as going up with your left hand. Uh, so border three, extremely complex, and I'm really grumpy with myself because I figured out the Vortrex <laughs> on my last attempt. The start position was brutal. That hold, the start hold is dual text, so you can only really hold it a certain way. And then the foot, by the time I was out, because I was in isolation for so long, um, I was out 30, uh, I can't even remember something oh wait no 25th I think I was out so the foot was a bit crap so it's just a really powerful starting position and the hold you're going to on the triangle was this this tiny blocked off Gaston crimp and I was like this is not right what I'm doing is not right and then in, on my last attempt I figured out that I could lean my weight over and that I could actually come and cross through and then go uh, go to the zone but 
it was a little too late so I was timed out when I got finally untangled and then here comes parkour um, I hate parkour I hate running on volumes I've had some really bad injuries from doing so and because of that I don't really think I give anything I don't give it a hundred percent I just kind of <laughs> try go in that general direction and hope it sticks and sometimes it actually miraculously works out sometimes it doesn't I thought it was a right left right but that a uh, right left uh, sorry a left right left but the white and blue holders dual texture so that was quite confronting I've seen some videos back and people just actually went two feet on the second volume and just jumped straight to the big hold and then land and like just skipped the dual text of volume and landed on the next one I didn't try that I just kept thinking it was yeah one foot then another foot then another foot so I don't know how many attempts I took I was yeah I was pretty frightened as that was close but still wasn't really giving it 100% I think wasn't actually believing in myself that that I could do that uh, boulder five I was bleeding at this stage and the 360 holds you might have climbed in them they have a lot of texture so here comes more dynamic stuff uh, again I was not sure what the beta was was it one two one like I'm trying I was trying to go again but I don't think I was getting high enough to control the the landing so you need when you do like that like to land two hands and go again you need to push and you need to be in a you need to somehow slow it down and this wall is was so steep it's not really clear from there but you're already just going way out so you actually need to jump higher so there I decided okay maybe I can just go with my right hand to the I don't want to say it's not really a jug it was kind of a slopey jug and I was actually super close and that was actually the beta that most girls went with and but when I was there of course I didn't know that so I gave it another go I was like oh it was really close but my fingers were bleeding. <laughs> I was on Boulder 5. I was pretty defeated by this stage. So, yep, didn't really get anywhere. Yep, so that's that. And for more of my thoughts, you can look at my Instagram posts. But let's get on with the rest of the trip. I'm going to watch the men's. We've got five men climbing in the bouldering. And I've just got some other great friends who I want to go and watch. And it's not the IFSC film uh filming and uh putting on youtube it's the japanese mountaineering federation so because it's not ifsc i think i can do some filming and um post little edits of some of the routes because yeah there's not that s it's just really strict with the ifsc um so i can't like play full things but i'll play some clips of some of the routes and hopefully the boys do really well and I'm super excited and then tomorrow it's semi-finals and finals I'm taking a rest day today and uh, then I'll try sneak in a sesh before semi-finals so to get to the comp venue it's like two trains and they gave us a couple of options how to get there and yesterday it was just like a zombie walking met Tiffany and walked down to one train station <laughs> it was early isolation and Shauna Coxie and the British team were there so we just followed them they seemed to know where they were going and I've just realized I was such a zombie you know we just follow someone but you're not taking in where you're going so now I'm heading to Qualies by myself and I'm not really sure what I'm doing I don't have like a sim or anything but uh, let's see if I get there. Let's see if my brain was working at all yesterday.
these were really hard. You need like two tops and four zones to get into their semi, which is different, um, yeah, quite a bit different to the female. So, um, yeah, crazy. So it's the afternoon now. I'm going to quickly go down to the gym and do a little bit, like the weights gym, and just do some weights. And then I'm just going to go out and do my normal food hunting. I'm really into all the supermarkets. I just love looking at all the foods that they have in their supermarkets. <laughs> all the Japanese foods. I can't figure out what things are, but I'm just buying them and eating them if they look vegetarian. Sometimes it hasn't worked out. Okay, so this was essentially day three and four. And the rest of the trip's going to get more exciting because I'm going to be able to start to train. So... Cool. Thanks for watching. Yeah, see you soon.